Welcome to another video. So, every day there are new updates to old things that make them feel new again. Today, we have some pretty good updates to Claude Dev, which will solve many issues that people previously had with it. So, let's talk about the new updates and check them out. There's only one major update since the last video, but this update adds some new special features for more customizability. This new update adds support for referencing files, issues, folders, and URLs within the chat, which is great. Previously, if you wanted Claude Dev to work laser-focused on a file, you had to prompt it manually and trust it to follow your instructions. There was no command to restrict it to one file, but now you can do it easily. First of all, to add any kind of context, you have to press at, and once you do that, you'll see some options. The first option is the URL option. The URL option allows you to paste a URL for the extension to fetch and convert to Markdown. This is useful when you want to give Claude the context of a web page or documentation, which many people often need to do. Next, there's the problems option. The problems option basically adds the linting errors or any other kind of error you may see within your workspace under the problem section, and it will include those in the context. This way, you can easily debug issues without copying and pasting errors back and forth. So, that's pretty cool as well. Apart from this, there's the file option. This option allows you to manually add a file to the context without wasting API requests for Claude to search and edit files. So, this is a cool option to restrict Claude to work with a specific file. There's also the folder option. This option allows you to add all the files under a directory. For example, if you're working on an API route, you can add the API folder and ask Claude to make changes only inside that folder, which is also great. So, these are basically the things you can do with this update. Now, let's try everything out practically and check it. First of all, make sure you have installed and updated Claude Dev to the latest version. Once you've done that, just open up Claude Dev, and now we can use it. Today, I'll be trying it all with Rust because I've done a bunch of projects in JavaScript, TypeScript, and Python. For a change, I'll be using Rust today. Anyway, let's first create a simple Rust project here. It's now created, so let's open it up. Okay, so in Claude Dev, let's first ask it to make a calculator app. Then, we can make changes and see the new referencing features. Let's send the prompt here. And as you can see, it's being generated. Let's wait a bit here. And it's done. The first new thing here is the build command. This isn't exactly new, but if I run it here, you can see that it executes in the terminal. This was already possible before, but what's new is that Claude now takes the output of the command and uses it to figure out if the command executed successfully or not. If it doesn't, it suggests another command to fix it. If I run this, you can see that the calculator app has started. If I enter a number and an operator, you can see that it works pretty well. So, this is working fine. Now, let me show you the referencing and other new features. First, if I enter at here, you can see some options like the URL option, problems option, folder option, and file option. Let's use the URL option. I'll add a simple web document here and ask it to create a markdown file based on this URL. Let's send it. And as you can see, it's processing. Let's wait for it to finish. And it's done. You have the markdown file here. You can also use it to directly reference a GitHub issue and ask Claude to fix it. This is amazing. You can also provide docs and ask it to ensure the code it generates follows those guidelines. So, this is an amazing feature. Now, the next feature is the problems feature. 
If you have a linting error or any kind of error in the problem section of VS Code, you can easily reference them here. Let me show you. I'll create an error, and once we do that, you can see the error appears in the problem section. Now, let's go back and reference the problem here. Let's ask Claude to fix the issue. As you can see, it's doing it. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it's done. As you can see, it detected the problem and fixed it, which is really cool. So, this is neat. Now, we can also reference files and folders. To do that, just reference a file here, and you can ask it to do anything in that file. Let me create a new file here. Now let's reference this file and ask it to make a to-do list app within it. Let's send it over, and as you can see, it's working. Let's wait for it to finish. And it's done. You can see it did what was asked. Let's run it to see. Okay, it's working. This is super cool if you want to work with just one file. But there's another thing you can do, and that's the folder option. The folder option is cool because you can directly reference a folder, and it will add all the files under that folder as context. You can ask Claude Dev to change only the files in that folder, which is also pretty cool. For example, I can add the SRCs folder and ask it to work inside that folder only, which is also great. Let me show you an example. Let's add the SRCs folder here. Now let's ask it to change the heading inside the calculator app in the main file to say Calculator King. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's working. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. We can just run it. And you can see it has done that as well. So, this is super cool. I think these options are great and make it much better and more customizable. One thing I would like added is the option to stop shell commands because when you're programming with it, it can become useless and waste tokens. An option to turn it off and just allow Claude Dev to change files would be cool. It could be called something like developer mode for those who just want to use it for coding. Also, if DeepSeek support could be added, it would be amazing, though it doesn't support tools currently. If it could be added, it would be super cool. Anyway, I hope it keeps getting better and better. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.